Now usually I find winter to be a little more relaxing, less running around like a crazy person. You can easily find yourself waking up at 6am and sleeping at 2am every day and still not getting everything done. So winter is usually a nice little break. But I wanted to see just how much money and how much mayhem I could get up to in winter. So in this video, I'll be making a guide on what you can do to make tons of money in winter. This video is focused towards your first winter because on your second or third winters, your, your farm is usually pretty established. You can see in this playthrough I made about 320,000 gold by the end of fall and by the end of winter, I ended up around 680,000 gold. So I made more than double the gold I made in spring, summer and fall just in winter. So making tons of gold in your first winter is definitely possible. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and leave a comment about what you love doing in winter. Alrighty, on to the video. To have a successful winter, you actually need to prepare during the previous seasons. Since you are limited in how much you can farm, a large portion of your money will actually come from animals. So I made sure to have a fully upgraded coop and barn by the end of fall. And I've also filled my coop and barn with animals. My coop has 10 chickens, 1 duck and 1 rabbit. I also made sure to add 10 mayonnaise machines in my coop since chickens produce eggs every day. I make 10 jars of mayonnaise every day and with the artisan profession this will get you about 2600 gold per day. This 2600 gold might not sound like much. The same is true for the barn. I have 10 cows, 1 goat and 1 pig. This will get you about 10 cow milks every day which you can turn into cheese. I only have 5 cheese presses but I should probably get more. Each piece of cheese will sell for 360 gold. So once again, when you have plenty of cheese, you will make plenty of money. To have a more consistent stream of money, make sure to include a heater in both your barn and coop. Make sure they are fed daily and that you pet them every day. The one downside of having this much farm animals is that even a silo full of hay probably won't last an entire season. So you might have to buy some hay at Marnie's Ranch, but it's really worth it. The money you make from animal products will make up for the cost of some extra hay. <laughs> Now this probably won't directly make you money. I should plant a bunch of trees to use to make all kinds of tree saps and resins. I have an entire orchard of trees and most of them have tapas on them. This is something you will have to prepare for winter because trees don't grow well in winter. However, interestingly, tree saps seem to be unaffected in winter. So during the whole winter, you'll be able to stockpile pine resin and honeydew. Now I did try and sell some pine resin, but it doesn't really sell well. <laughs> so save your pine resin for kegs and save your honeydew for bee houses. Another big tip that will greatly increase your potential money gain in winter is completing the greenhouse before winter. This is definitely possible. I made a full detailed guide on how to complete the greenhouse before winter. So take a look in the description for that video. Your greenhouse is your key to making big money in winter. In my greenhouse, I've planted some coffee beans, just a couple, mostly to stockpile on coffee beans so that I can grow plenty during summer and fall. But most of my greenhouse is filled with star fruit. Star fruit is by far one of the biggest money makers in the game. And you can leverage star fruit in your first year pretty easily. You can buy star fruit seeds from Sandy at Oasis once you have completed the vault bond by donating 42 500 gold. Each seed costs about 400 gold and the star fruit can be sold for 750 gold. But that's not where the big money comes in. If you turn the star fruit into star fruit wine, the star fruit wine will sell for 3150 gold. And if you let the wine age in a barrel, it will increase the value up to 6000 gold. Naturally, you can grow star fruit in the greenhouse in any season, so you can easily have tons of fruit wine over time. To make even more money, I usually only buy the first initial set of starfruit seeds, then I use my 10 seed makers to make more for future planting. So I basically make infinite profit with almost no expenses. If you don't want to go through the starfruit route, you can also plant tons of ancient fruit. They are just as good and they regrow after every 7 days, so there's even less maintenance. Now I decided to see how well farming can actually be in winter, so I planted all of my winter seeds and with every harvest I converted the forageable crops into more winter seeds. So as you can see here, I'm actually farming in winter. This might be a good idea if you want to power level your farming skill a little bit. However, I would not recommend planting winter seeds for money. 
Over an entire season of replanting winter seeds and creating more seeds, I only made about 15,000 gold at the end of the season. Now planting these winter seeds, converting the crops into more winter seeds, and then replanting was a lot of effort, so I would not recommend trying this out. But remember that you don't need to just focus on making money in winter. Some of the other things that I usually do during winter are going deep into the skull cavern and trying to get as much iridium as possible for the iridium sprinklers. Quality sprinklers are not bad and will save you plenty of time and energy, but iridium sprinklers take it to the next level. Getting iridium sprinklers is also vital on the beach farm because you already have limited space. Winter is the perfect time to spend plenty of time in the skull cavern. While in the skull cavern you can also get lucky and find a prismatic shard and all kinds of fun rare items and resources another good idea is to upgrade your farming tools in winter if you aren't doing any weird winter seed farming you probably don't need your hoe or your horsing can so you can upgrade both of those during winter so your next year is more efficient you can also upgrade your house each upgrade takes three days and you can upgrade your house three times it costs eight ton of money but it's definitely worth it especially when you fully upgrade your house you get access to the wine cellar and the barrels that can be used to age wine and cheese winter is also the perfect time to make friends with all of the wonderful townspeople of stardew valley it can also be quite relaxing to just walk around town and give all of your favorite townspeople gifts this has the hidden benefit of giving you loads of very useful recipes and other cool benefits i recently made a video about the best people to befriend for your own selfish gains check it out if you're not sure who to befriend in stardew valley you should also spend more effort trying to complete the community center i was so close to completing the community center in the first year on this playthrough i just accidentally missed a poppy that could only grow in summer thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helped you stay productive in winter and make that sweet money how much money did you make after your first year in stardew valley let me know in the comments below i heard it's possible to make over a million gold in your first year that's pretty impressive Alrighty, i will see you in the next video until next time